The other big news, well, the UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer and the billionaire tech boss Elon Musk are at loggerheads. This after a com comment by Elon Musk on social media that a civil war is inevitable in the UK. His remarks uh, came in the backdrop of the violence that saw far-right and anti-racism protesters clash across the UK. Elon Musk started a row with the Downing Street over the riots that have engulfed UK cities amid accusations that social media is fueling the unrest. Elon Musk was earlier criticized for reinstating the accounts of far-right figures, including Tommy Robinson. In November last year, Robinson, who previously was the leader of a defunct anti-Islam English Defence League, has been blamed by media for spreading misinformation to his 875,000 followers on the platform X. Whatever the apparent motivation, this is not protest, it is pure violence, and we will not tolerate attacks on mosques or our Muslim communities. So uh, the full force of the law will be visited on all those who are identified as having taken part in these activities. The violence erupted last Tuesday after social media posts said the suspected attacker in Southport was a radical Islamist who had just arrived in Britain and was known to alleged intelligence services. The police say the 17-year-old suspect was born in Britain and they are not treating it as a terror incident. The suspect's parents had moved to Britain from Rwanda. On Monday evening, protests spread to Plymouth in southwest England. Several hundred anti-immigration protesters wearing English and British flags faced off against a greater number of counter-protesters kept apart by the police in riot gear. The riots began in Southport following the arrest of Axel Ruda Kubana, who is charged with the murder of three young girls and ten counts of attempted murder. And for the very latest on this, we're now being joined by Stuart Smith from London. And Stuart, well, you know, a lot of this started with misinformation and social media campaigns. And that has been brought back into focus with this, uh, you know, this tit for tat between Elon Musk and, uh, and the Prime Minister there. Yeah, absolutely. And just in the last few minutes, we've had an update from social media. Elon Musk criticising the, the video released by somebody being arrested of the UK police, informing them that they had been arrested due to what they posted on social media. Elon Musk on X, uh, the billionaire uh, owner of the platform, saying, is this Britain or the Soviet Union? The Prime Minister, Keir Starmer, has made numerous references to the fact that inciting violence from social media, i.e. online, is just as much a criminal act as making the violence itself on the streets. So the UK justice system does see them similarly. It's illegal to do what uh, that person is accused of doing, which is inciting violence or inciting riots on the streets, going back to uh, laws created in the 1980s. So there is a law passing through the UK uh, House of Commons, which should mean that there will be a specific law that requires social media companies to take down misinformation, uh, false information intended to cause non-trivial harm, but that's not in place just yet. But it is interesting, the Prime Minister of a sovereign nation engaged in a war of words with a billionaire tech owner. The uh, emphasis the Prime Minister here says should be on people calling for calm, calling on people not to participate in the violence and certainly not stoking uh, stoking uh, debate on social media that could lead to people to continue for what could be an eighth night of rioting here in the United Kingdom. Uh, but Elon Musk seems to have made this uh, one of his uh, prime interests for the last few days, engaging with uh, the British criminal justice system in ways that he believes it should be run. Mm -hmm. Right, Stuart, always a pleasure talking to you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.